We're back. Ooh. <laughs> We're back again to play some games. We're back with Bella Tomata and let's just jump back in. So before we start, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my social media. It's always good from below and we can get started. You're so cute when you're excited, Bluebird. What is it? Um, what happened last time? <laughs> I don't remember what happened last time. I came up with another lyric for the song about- Oh yeah. The song about Victor. I stopped abruptly, suddenly realizing that we were not exactly alone. Is he already here? Victor sits dead center in the middle of the room, his lips in a strict line. Oh, Victor, you came. And early, too. I did, but no need to interrupt your own conversation for me. What were you saying? A song lyric written about... Oh, don't worry about that. I freeze in place. I can't say a song about Victor. Um, uh, that is to say, it seems I, uh, forgot. Um, Zaphyr looks at me strangely, but shrugs to himself. Okay, let's get started. I want you to play me an A-sharp major scale. Yes, sir. I stand for the keyboard, play the notes carefully. A, B, D, D, E, G, A, A. Perfect! You're slumping a little, though. You want to be sitting up straight, not hunched over your instrument like that. Okay. Remember... Straight wrists and curve your hands like you're holding little baseballs. Baseballs. I nod. Little baseballs. Got it. Now see if you can follow my melody. He begins to play a song slowly. Just like last time, I want you to just feel the music, and if you come up with a lyric or two, you can go ahead and sing that as well. You know, I actually want to... I'm going to turn the backup music a little... Um, he steps over to the keyboard and begins to play. The melody he chooses slow and somber. I thought this was a jam session. It is! But this is so sad. I don't know if I can come up with lyrics to something that sounds so sad. Come on, don't be intimidated, Arev. A jam session is defined by the activity, not the mood. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, jamming means crying in the club. <laughs> You're in the club. Um, I don't want to cry right now, though. Not in front of Victor. I don't want to be too vulnerable in front of Victor like that. We don't even know each other like that yet. Just go for it. Can we do something more happy? More pop? More rock? Um, I sway from side to side. And just like that, words came to mind. You're gonna sing it for me? Drowning, I'm drowning in your love. Go what you know about love. That's it. Let the music speak for you. You're a natural at this. Frowning, shouts and frowning with your love. Baby, it's so cold in here, but maybe that's because I hold you dear. I love it. Tear my heart to pieces. I, I don't need you to comment on every single line. He stops playing abruptly. Ah, uh, but you know what this needs? Strings. Too bad we don't have a violinist. Unexpectedly, Victor's voice interrupts Zaphra's musing. A violinist, you say? I came only as an observer, but perhaps I may be of use. Uh, Zaphra and I both look at him in surprise. No need to stare so. I have a variety of skills, including that of playing the violin. The young master had an interest in music. Unfortunately, by the time I became proficient, he had moved on as children are wont to do. Mm -hmm, okay. Victor stands. I will return momentarily. Oh, wow. Victor leaves as Zaph and I stare after him. That's an unexpected turn of events. My thoughts? Ditto. Zephyr takes the time to toss me the hollow pen. Write out the notes I'm playing. Okay. He starts to play the same song, though this time much more slowly, so I have time to transcribe the music. Just as I finish, Zephyr approaches me to take a look at my work. Excellent job, Arev. There's a few mistakes, namely how you put A instead of C here, but I can read this well enough. Thank you. I'm getting better, right? He fixes my errors, and just as he does, Victor returns with a long case in tow. 
gingerly placing on the table, he unbuckles the two buckles um, on the side of the case and opens it with care. I am a little out of practice. Still. Are we gonna start a little band? Um, he turns a few knobs on the end. Let's see. We need Diego in here too. Then we can all play for Q. He'll be so impressed. Let's see. Zapper and I watch as he plays through a basic C scale from C to C. Lovely. Now Zephyr, if you would, play that melody again. Zephyr grumbles under his breath. Just do it. No need to be so bossy. Um, his sharp eyes pierce Zephyr. What was that? Nothing. Um, Zephyr snaps his finger suddenly. Ah, oh, I forgot my metronome. Let me grab that. One moment. Zephyr disappears to the door, leaving Victor and I alone. So how you been doing? I fill around the keyboard awkwardly. Do you know how to play this melody? I'm working on it. He approaches me, so I step aside, sweeping the back of his um, butler's coat behind him. Victor sits elegantly at the keyboard, flexing, flexing his fingers before placing them gently against the keys. Oh, wow. A delicate, almost painful piano melody rings out. Should I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even want to continue. I just want to listen. It's really good. Who knew you were so good at music? I don't. Can you show me? Of course. He plays the song, then repeats the main melody twice. To see something so gentle come from Victor's fingers is almost surprising. For someone who doesn't emote well, the melody he plays is full of emotion. Victor, did you write this? He doesn't answer at first, still playing with light, determined fingers. I did. Wow. I bask in Victor's talents for a long time. He just gets more and more interesting. I'll say. I open my mouth to compliment him further, but... Let's do this thing! Zephyr, did you hear that? Zephyr breaks the moat between us, bouncing on his heels and unbated energy, with unbated energy, as the door slides open, metronome in hand. Victor looks up and stands quickly to step away from the keyboard. Um... Zephyr, oh yeah, this place is soundproof. Dang. <laughs> Victor, talented, the heck? He looks at Victor curiously, but, seeming, but seemingly decides that he does not want to pry, at least not in front of Victor. Let's, uh, let's get started. Awkward. I back away from the keyboard, taking a few steps away unruffled. Victor picks up his violin. Zaphyr says the metronome, his quiet ticking helps to stay us on beat. He sits the keyboard across from Victor as I stand to the side, forming a triangle as we face each other. Zephyr plays the piano as I sing again, shutting my eyes to help myself feel the music. Drowning, I am drowning in your love. Frowning shouts and frowning with your love. Baby, it's so cold in here, but maybe that's because I hold you dear. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening to us. Then I hear them, peer notes from the strings of Victor's violin. Rewind, oh, you wrote a lot of lyrics. Rewind to find it, the love we used to share and how you used to care. My eyes snap open as I see Victor's elegant form, holding the violin aloft. The words come, in, come to mind again without prompt, so I sing them aloud. I wanna see him playing the violin. Um, I'm having fun, I know what I am. But as I sing, a thought resurfaces. They're feeling that I'm doing something wrong. They're feeling that, 
that I'm defying my purpose. Oblivious to my thoughts, Zephyr chirps out encouragingly. That's right. Break our hearts, Bluebird. I don't want to. Um, what let us be saddened that I've chosen to do something else? I forgot, I forgot how to say his name again. Lenith? I don't know. Uh, remind me so I can see. The love. We, 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 we. My voice fails me, breaking down. I touch my throat, trying again, but it seems the module has shut down completely. Victor and Zephyr both stop playing to look at me in bewilderment. Oh, Rev, are you alright? I curl my fingers over my throat. Blinking at them both in confusion. Clearly not. Something is the matter with her vocal synthesizer. I try to how my I think the note should be, but my voice crackles instead. Victor approaches while Zephyr scrambles for a hollow pen. I've got to write those lyrics down. Zephyr pauses as Victor peers into my eyes, watching as Victor scans me to presumably assess my condition. Um, embarrassed at the extra attention, I wave dismissively for him to continue searching for the writing utensil. Reassured, Zavra hums a lyrical melody I came up with excitedly. I have just had an epiphany. We should become a band. I agree, but maybe not Victor. What you what do you think about that? Probably not. Even if this were not the worst possible time for you to be thinking of music, absolutely not. Playing music is a pleasant pastime, but I readily admit that it is just that. I would not abandon my duties for a mere Oh, duties, booties. You're a rogue just like the rest of us. Why don't you choose something for yourself for once? Vision turns towards him in irritation. Don't fight now. I am choosing for myself. Does loyalty mean nothing to you? Vigil's lips press together as he looks coldly at Zephyr. Sensing the tension, I tend to protest when my throat emits a loud sound instead of words. They both look at me, so I try again. This time, words do come. Stop it, you two. Ooh, um... I feel like I should address Zaffer first. Let's just do it. Zaffer, Victor doesn't have to join your band. He doesn't have to, no. But he also doesn't have to be a complete and utter jerk to me for making a brief suggestion. I look over at Victor, but he seems unbothered, saying nothing as he rubs a hard block of, well, something along the strings of the long wind bow. If music is such a stupid pastime, then why are you even here? I look at him curiously, still unsure of why Victor asked to come in the first place. Victor looks annoyed for a moment as he glances between our two earnest faces. That is none of your concern. On that note, Victor looks me in the eyes. You ought to get that throat condition checked out by Dr. Champion. I know you just saw him, but I do feel concerned. Um, his admission makes me look up at him, startled. He quickly sits up to look at Zephyr, inclining his head at the both of us. That aside, thank you for having me. I have duties to care for, but I am most pleased to have had a chance to play music with you, Alrev. Hey, what about me? I meant what I said. Good day. <laughs> okay, that ended horribly. Victor leaves the two of us in the library. Can you believe the nerve of that guy? It's not what Zephyr's talking about, but immediately what comes to mind is Victor playing the keyboard elegantly in front of me. I... I can't... no. I have read my eyes for a moment. What was that all about? Arev. Are you all right? Not really. I kind of want to take a nap now. I tap the side of my head lightly. I'm fine, just... My throat cuts off, but Zephyr doesn't seem to notice. Um, lost in his own musing. Maybe suggesting we become a band was a bit impulsive, but even so... No, but I see the vision. Jam sessions. I, I see the vision. I see the vision. Um, maybe suggesting... Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, unsure whether or not I'm able to respond, I smile awkwardly. Anyway, what was that lyric you thought of? Lyric? For Victor's song. 
Oh, um. Afraid of my voice disappearing again, I say it aloud instead of singing it. Saw you here and saw you there. In daydreams, you're everywhere. Nice. Though. He pauses for a long moment, clearly trying to figure out a way to ask the question on his mind. Is the song still about Victor? Yeah, it is. It's a love song. I nod. You have daydreams about Victor? Sure did. I can tell you about it too. Oops, caught. Uh, well, it's a long story. I've got time. There we go. Thanks, bestie. I don't. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I need to go figure out what's going on with my throat. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, Rev, wait! Um, I'm already at the door. Okay. Um, I think we should end it right here. Who knew Victor was so talented? I didn't. What in the world? Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my social media. It's always description below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.